My name is Mike Rayner and I'm with eWrench.com. This video is about how to install Oracle VirtualBox into Windows 7. Oracle VirtualBox allows you to create virtual computers or virtual machines so that you can run multiple operating systems from your own computer. The outcomes for this video are you should be able to download Oracle VirtualBox, install VirtualBox into Windows 7, and configure a default location of virtual machines. In my case, I'll, I configured it to a public VM directory, but you can leave it wherever you want. Requirements, Windows 7 operating system, VirtualBox, of course, and enough memory or RAM to run both your host operating system, which would be Windows 7, and your virtual operating system, which is whatever, whichever one you want at the same time. And additional info is at VirtualBox. Okay, we're to start off at www.virtualbox.org and this is the VirtualBox site where you can download your copy of VirtualBox. If you notice that you've got about screenshots, downloads, documentation, uh, which really is a, has a lot of good information on it. So we're going to download VirtualBox, click on download section, and here we're going to choose the one for our machine. In our case, it'll be VirtualBox 4.1.14 for Windows Host. It includes both the x86 and the 64-bit operating systems of Windows. So click for this one. And we're just going to save the file. And I like to put it on local disk downloads. And I make a separate directory for it. New folder called VirtualBox. open it up and simply download the file. Now here it's very short download 10 6 minutes remaining. While you're waiting for the download to occur you can go take a look at the user manual or go something you know go around the site. Uh, I will return after the it is downloaded and, and we'll go ahead with setting up uh, VirtualBox in Windows 7. We have about five seconds, a few seconds remaining for the install. Okay, VirtualBox has been downloaded. It's a simple matter now to simply close these uh, folders. And the next step will be setting this up on a Windows 7 computer. Once VirtualBox has been downloaded into our Windows 7 machine, the next step would be to simply click on the exe file and uh, install it. So we, we right click on the start button, open Windows Explorer, go to where we download the VirtualBox. In this case it's C downloads, click VirtualBox and then click it and up comes our security warning and we're going to run it. This security warning will come up a number of times as we're running it. So we just, it's a very simple install. Click Next. It asks what items you want to install. In our case, we're just going to pick everything that we can. Install Ask where you want to install it. And we'll just take the uh, default uh, location. Click Next. And I like to create a short top on desktop, but not on the quick launch bar. So that's your choice. You can do however you want to do that. Click Next. And it gives you a warning that the net work interfaces can be going up and down during the installation. So if you're using the internet, that means that you may become disconnected. And click Yes. And then it says click Install, begin the install. Click Install. And it trundles along and lets you go along and, uh, and installs. It says it may take several minutes. If it takes a long time, we're we are going to just keep going back. So now up again, our user account control. We're going to click yes. And like I say, this will show up a number of times during the install. So don't be uh, get too worried about that. That's Windows doing its security thing for you. And Windows security, again, this device software. 
and I don't like to click always trust but so I'd like to have my warning so I'm going to click install and again your Windows security warning comes in again I'm going to click install and this is the third fourth or fifth time click install again and again click install and Oracle VM is installation is complete click finish and we're going to close this uh, window right here and so VirtualBox the latest edition uh, today is installed one I one preference I like to change is where the virtual machines installed virtual machines are usually installed in your directory and if you want everyone to be able to use the uh, virtual machines I change the preferences uh, to a different uh, folder and I change it computer C drive users public and I make a new folder in the public folder and call it public VMs for public virtual machines then click OK and you may take a look at some of these other settings and change these uh, if you want to keep your virtual machines private and not let anyone else access them do not make this change to the public folder this is simply because I work in an environment where a lot of different people may be seeing the virtual machines click OK and that's it thank you